Welcome back everyone. We have another review from King's Dominion today. This time we're talking about Twisted Timbers, the RMC iBox conversion of the old Hurler wooden coaster. Twisted Timbers made its debut in 2018, and it stands at a height of 111 feet, reaches a top speed of 54 miles per hour, has a track length of 3,361 feet, and features three inversions, which are a barrel roll drop, a cutback, and a zero G roll. RMC doesn't really need any introduction here. They're obviously known for their really top-notch ejector airtime filled rides. So we're just going to get into the ride experience here. The ride starts out by turning right out of the station. This is actually a rare example of an RMC that does not feature one of those crazy pre-lift sections with like little dips and bank turns and stuff like that, which is fine. Those are just kind of nice little add-ons to the rides, but not necessary. So you go up this 111 foot tall lift here and you rise up pretty quick, get to the top, and as you crest over, you dip down and you turn to the right here. And then this is where you hit the barrel roll down drop and you get some good air time to start things off. You go over this little air time dip through an overbanked turn, another small dip here, and then you hit this awesome, this trifecta of these amazing ejector air time filled camelback hills here one right after the other that's absolutely phenomenal go down a little dip you hit the cutback element which is really fun then you go through some more small dips and you have this little trick track double up type element there go through another airtime hill you have this overbank turn it really snaps you through that very whippy another airtime hill zero g roll which is those are always really fun in rmc's a little wave turn there a little bank turn and then you have a couple more small dips until you hit the final brake run. Overall, not a super long ride and it doesn't need to be. It packs everything into a relatively short time, but it still has a decent length. This this thing is just all airtime. This is like comparing it to Steel Vengeance, which is, you know, the huge RMC that opened in the same year. This is kind of almost like a Steel Vengeance on a smaller scale. Not nearly as long, not as big or tall or fast, but it's like a smaller scale ride. It is just as much about the airtime as Steel Vengeance. It's, it's so wild. It just throws you out of your seat on all those airtime hills, especially that trifecta there of those Camelback Hills. That is absolutely phenomenal. Just three hills in a row of straight ejector airtime. And you're just getting thrown out of your seat this whole ride. It's really, really a great ride. And it could almost be the best ride in the park, honestly. And that could even change, you know, depending on what kind of mood you're in. I'm sure you guys probably know what my favorite ride in the park is going to be. But um, more on that later. But back to Twisted Timbers. What a phenomenal ride. This was a perfect addition for King's Dominion. I've heard not very good things at all about the hurler that was located at King's Dominion. And I think everybody is happy with this conversion. This is perfect. It's a great, great ride. And one of my very top favorite coasters as it currently stands. One thing I want to quickly point out with Twisted Timbers. In the amount of time I had at King's Dominion, which was about two and a half hours at the end of one night. And then I was there for a full day the day after that. It seems like, oh, and this applies to Steel Vengeance as well. It seems like Cedar Fair has experienced quite a bit of downtime with their RMCs. Which is slightly concerning to see. Hopefully it doesn't deter them from buying any in the near future. There were were several points during the days I was at King's Dominion where Twisted Timbers went down and it seems like a lot of times it has something to do with the restraints not locking properly and they were having to deal with that quite a bit it seems like so just note that as you're going in here it usually doesn't get very long lines at least from my experience there the longest I had to wait for Twisted Timbers was about 20 minutes not terrible but definitely keep that in mind when you're going 
So I'm going to give Twisted Timbers a score of 9.5 out of 10. This ride is that good. It's a near perfect ride. One that you should absolutely experience. Make sure you go to King's Dominion and uh, check out Twisted Timbers and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me, Coaster Daddy on Facebook and Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.